Hey, what's going on everybody? How now videos? Here we're going to take a look at how to make it an exploded axon in Revit. So my view first started as this 3D view. And what I would do is duplicate that view right away. So I'll just go to duplicate right here. And here you could rename it your 3D exploded axon or just axon exploded. And then from there, it's really not too bad. You're going to select what you want to move. So let's say we start with the roof, something simple. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is go up and this icon here, displace elements, you click on that. And then you can grab either uh, this gizmo here, ta uh, the Z axis, X axis, Y axis, or a combination of the two. So let's just say I want to go straight up. So I'm just going to do that. You could also just type in your displacement as well if you want to keep it uh, nice and tidy. So let's say like a 10 foot displacement. And then you can go and associate paths. Now you want to make sure you don't do too many uh, because it can become a little overwhelming. Um, but here I find that because of my overhang, I find that just the center path is kind of okay for this roof. I might just throw one more on here to show it off here. I don't really want to do it because it, it uh, it's a little misleading on where it lands, right? It's not a great reference point to land in the air. And then from there, I'm going to go and select some other features. Now, what I did in my actual 3D view, so I just went back to that, is I went for this curtain wall and I hit tab and I highlighted one of the glass panels. Then I right clicked on that glass panel and just give me a second to select it again. I right clicked on it. I did select all instances in entire view. And then from here, I unpinned all of them. So I press the unpin button, and then that enables me to select all those glass panels and move them out in the exploded. So in the axon exploded, here I'm gonna take this, um, this curtain wall. I'm gonna displace it as well. I'm gonna go in this X axis. I'm gonna do that by, let's see what 10 feet looks like. I have to do a little more, might do a little less. Okay, so 10 is good. And then from here, I want to get the glass panel. So I'm going to hover, hit tab until I get the glass panel. Right click, select all instances, an entire project. And then I want to displace those as well. Uh, let's say another 10. Okay, so that's my glass panels away from my mullions, away from my actual structure, my wall. And then I'm going to start to associate these paths. Now, if I do just these panels, they'll go back just to the mullion. And then if I go here, the mullion to the wall. And now from here, we can go and we can uh, get this one off and then up. So this slanted wall, I'm going to go off to the side and up just to kind of project it off of its face. And so it's at a 30 degree uh, or 15 degree slope. So I could figure out rise and run and actually project it off the exact same by going in the Y and the Z uh, direction to end up at a 15. Um, so you could do a, uh, like a quick Google on what that might be. Uh, but for me, I'm just going to go and eyeball it for this one. So here I have it placed like this. Um, and then this guy here, I have to do the same thing. I'm going to have to come back and get the window by deassociating. So I'm going to go with this kind of awning structure over the window, up and over. And then now here in this one, I have to edit this association and I need to remove from the displacement. So I need to click on remove the window and then check that off. And now the window I can displace separately. Um, the window naturally comes in hosted by the wall. So I have to go and do that um, to get it out of the way. And the key is just trying to make sure that these seem somewhat lined up here. Um, off like that. And then I'm going to go and associate. Now these ones here, when I add these paths, they tend to go all the way back. So with this awning cover, I'm going to just kind of leave it um, just like that for the the roof uh, over the window because they kind of touch each other there so it seems to line up pretty good and then here now with this displacement I can drop this down a little bit I can raise this up a little bit and then they look like they all pretty much line up nicely with each other and now with this uh, it creates a nice view to illustrate what's going on we have it duplicated so we got our other uh, 3d intact still which is nice and so um, this 
I think is a great graphic to include on a presentation board uh, to illustrate your points. It can also be used for construction methods, um, like how glass maybe ties to your curtain wall panel, and then how that ties maybe back to some component bracketry that ties onto a floor, which ties back to your column. So just a lot of ways you can go and uh, show a lot with one graphic diagram with the axon exploded. All right, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to save and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.